In this video, I am going to explain uh, solving of thick core cylinder problem related to the shrink fitting process. This is the problem we are going to discuss. Before going to this problem, let me explain the uh, theory behind this problem. When uh, thick core cylinder subject to internal pressure, it's a wall subject to biaxial stress. Called at in tangential direction, that is called uh, sigma t. The radial direction, that is called sigma r. When the thick core cylinder subject to an internal pressure only situation, this uh, tangential stress is maximized at the inner surface. That maximum value is always greater than the sigma r value. When signal subject to intermesh only situation, here this is how the stress is here. Then the radial stress is negative, that is acting like this. Here you can see sigma t maximize at the inner surface. In case of failure, the sigma t is the critical stress. Sigma t is the principal stress acting on the inner surface. When increasing the pressure, sigma t increases. If it increases beyond the yield point of the material, the cracks may generate at the inner surface. Failure may occur at the inner surface. So, limiting the sigma t, reducing the sigma t is very important when this kind of cylinder is subject to a higher internal pressure. The method is uh, shrink fitting. In shrink fitting, what happens? Let me explain this uh, process. In shrink fitting, let's take this the outer cylinder. Outer cylinder inner radius, let's take it as the R. Then inner cylinder outer radius, let's take this one is uh, slightly greater than the R. This value is called a uh, shrink fit uh, tolerance. When assembling these two cylinders, the two methods can use. One method, this one is heated. Heated until this uh, diameter expand beyond this uh, diameter. So then these cylinders can assemble. Other way, this one can cool until this diameter shrink less than this diameter. So by assembling these uh, two cylinders, then allowed to come to room temperature. When it comes to room temperature, it forms a rigid bond in between these two cylinders at the mating surface. Due to this bond, the very high pressure develops at the interface. This pressure is called interface pressure. This interface pressure, if you take the inner cylinder after swim fitting, this interface pressure acting as the externally to the inner cylinder like this because of this uh, pressure the inner surface negatively stress negatively stress that means this stress developed in this uh, inner surface you can represent like this like this negatively stress the negatively stress means the inner surface is compressed inner surface is Compress like this. Okay, so then when uh, increasing the pressure, when applying the pressure to the internal, this uh, tangential stress is uh, increases from the negative value. Negative value. So in this situation, it can take higher pressure than use of a single. Uh, cylinder because it is increases from the negative value to the maximum. Okay. That is how the cylinder bow is strengthening in the shrink fitting process. Okay, this problem is related to the shrink fitting process. The compound cylinder is formed by shrinking a tube of a 250 millimeter internal diameter and 25 millimeter wall thickness onto another tube of a 250 millimeter external diameter and 25 millimeter wall thickness. 
both tubes being made of uh, same material the stress setup at the uh, junction owing to the shrinkage is equal to 10 uh, mega newton per square meter then here the interface pressure is given this interface pressure is given this value is given then the compound tube is uh, then subjected to a internal pressure of 80 mega pascal this uh, pi value is given the 80 mega pascal then compare the uh, maximum hoop stress uh, developed with that of a single cylinder this kind of cylinder width of uh, 300 mm external 300 mm external and 50 mm sorry uh, 50 mm thickness subjected to the same internal pressure okay first uh, let's find the stress uh, developed in this uh, single cylinder okay uh, first of all uh, let me do the uh, diagram first for the single cylinder this uh, radius is equal to 100 this one is equal to 150 that means a is equal uh, 100 millimeter the b is equal 150 millimeter then this uh, cylinder is subject to a internal pressure of 80 megapascal then we want to calculate the sigma t to calculate the sigma t where the equation sigma t equation a square pi divided by b square minus a square 1 plus b square divided by r square this is how tangential stress is very when the signal is subject to a internal pressure only situation okay let's subdue the values sigma t is equal a square 100 into square the internal pressure 80 so I'm keeping a uh, I'm subduing the mega pascal then we are going to answer in the mega pascal d square 150 into square minus uh, 100 into square 1 plus b square 150 into square divided by 100 into square then by simplifying this equation we are able to calculate the sigma t tangential stress develop that is equal to 208 mega pascal if you take the single cylinder this inner surface uh, maximum stress develop at the inner surface that is equal to 208 mega pascal that is the principal stress develop at the inner surface in this situation okay then uh, we are going to calculate the stress developed in this uh, swing fitted compound cylinders. Let me draw the diagram. Swing fitted uh, compound cylinders. Then this uh, inner radius is equal to 100. Then outside radius is equal to 150. Then this uh, interface radius this value is equal to 125 then after swing fitting let's calculate the stress develop then after swing fitting the developed interface pressure is given that pressure value is equal to 10 mega pascal 10 mega pascal pressure is acting on this uh, surface so let me draw the uh, inner cylinder separately if you take the inner cylinder separately after shrink fitting this cylinder is subject to external pressure here the cylinder before applying the internal pressure this value is equal to 10 mega pascal outside pressure then this value is equal to 100 this value is equal to 125 for this case a is equal uh, 100 the p is equal 125 okay first of all i'm going to calculate the negative stress that means the sigma t value developed at the inner surface due to the external pressure of 10 mega pascal here i'm going to use the equation sigma t equation for cylinder subject to a external pressure only situation tangential stress equation this equation equal uh, minus p o the b square divided by b square minus a square 1 plus a square divided by r square this is the equation here so i am going to calculate the 
sigma t at the inner surface. That means r is equal a. r is equal. If you substitute the a in here, a square divided by a square is equal to one. So one plus one is equal to two. So then this equation we can reduce. Sigma t is equal minus two t o b square divided by b square minus a square. Uh, let's uh, substitute the values. Sigma t is equal minus two uh, t o ten uh, into uh, b square. Hundred twenty-five into square. Then uh, this uh, b square minus a square we can factorize as uh, like this uh, b plus c and b minus c. So then b plus c is equal two hundred twenty-five into b minus c is equal twenty-five. Then by simplifying this equation, sigma t value we can calculate the sigma t value is equal. Minus fifty-five point five five megapascal. Here you can see the after simplifying, this much of a negative stress develop at the inner surface. So then, if we take the compound cylinder, when it is subjected to a internal pressure of eighty megapascal, eighty megapascal, this tangential tangential stress should increase from the negative fifty-five point five five megapascal. Uh, maximum stress developed, sigma t stress can be calculated by 208 minus 55.55. That uh, tangential stress developed is equal to 152.44. Uh, Mega pascal. You can see the maximum tangential stress. Is a reduce compared to in this situation. The single cylinder, the maximum tangential stress is equal to 208 megapascal. If you take the string fitted compound cylinder, the value is equal to 152.44. You can see the string fitting uh, reduce the maximum tangential stress developed. Okay, uh, this is how we are solving this kind of a uh, string fitting uh, thick wall cylinder problem. I think uh, you all got a very clear idea how to solve this kind of problem. Okay, thank you. See you next time.